got a gameplay for you guys today. We're going to be taking a look at the double mug defense. This has been one of the best defenses in the game pretty much since college football 25 in July. And uh, this defense is still very, very relevant. Now we're going to be running this out of the Vikings defensive playbook, and we're going to be using the 2-4 version uh, of the defense. Not a huge difference anymore between uh, the 2-4 version uh, and what we're running in this. So anyways, just going to go ahead and get into the gameplay. I'm going to set up my... Uh, formational subs here and uh, then we'll get into this one little tip for you if you don't know if your play clock's running down like that um, you can just pause the game and then unpause it and it will give you a fresh um, a fresh play clock and the way I'm gonna run this is I'm gonna run two middle linebackers in here and then we're gonna do that and I'm gonna start out with more of a man-to-man -man version of the defense kind of see how that works and uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. All right, so he's going to start out auto motioning. Um, base thing here. I need that to get played. That did not get played. That's kind of unfortunate to me. I don't know why that doesn't get played. That already tells me I can't run man against what this guy's going to do. So we're just going to get out of it. And we're going to run the zone version. Zone version. And he's just going to. Okay, so we're playing someone that is just going to snap motion post all game. Awesome. Should be a fun matchup. Okay, so the way that I'm running this defense, there's kind of two ways to run it. Um, there is... Let's see, I'm going to... Yeah, there we go. I got to watch out for this motion cross play. I got to think how I'm going to defend this out of zone. Um... I feel like that three wreck, I feel like that was literally right in position to play that. I don't know how that didn't play it. I'm trying to think how I want to defend that. All right, so first drive of the game, we're not in a great spot. But little do we worry because we've got this defense. Let's see this red zone defense. I guess it's a red zone defense I've been messing with. I normally run 6-1 down here, but kind of messing with this just to see. This should be a stretch left, I would think. I wish that was a wish that was a hit stick fumble. Yeah, I might stay in this. I don't know. Yeah, he's gonna trips. Yeah, he goes to trips. I think I stay in this honestly. Yeah, I think I stay in this. I think I just try to, to bag. I'm just gonna use the running back who goes on a route. He's gonna run around. Take that away. That's. I need that to be a D line pick though. I think I forgot to sub my dogs in. I got my dogs in. How's that not a D-line pick? All right, let's put Devin White in here. And Mark Gaston. I think this could be a really good red zone defense. Honestly. All right, we're pass committing. We're shading down. He's going to throw right at us. I knew it was throwing. Uh, I think it's probably better to hard flat on this. You just can't use or anything. That's what frustrates me about this game. Like, I'm trying to run through the route. I really am. And it just doesn't let you. Just doesn't let you run to the route in this game. If that's a hard flat, then I can just take it away for a second and then maybe switch to going to the hard flat and go lurk the middle. I don't know how I would have done it, but. Certainly didn't work out for me. All right, on offense, we're running Lions. I think he's in Lions. He could be in the Eagles, uh, but we're running Lions as well. And we're going to be running a lot of motion posts ourselves. Uh, if you guys want to get any of these, uh, if you guys want to get either the Vikings defensive ebook or the Lions offensive ebook, all that stuff's in our school community, school.com slash Cody Bauer. That link's going to be in the description down below. For just 10 bucks. you get access to all of our uh, offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you guys want to check that out. That will be linked in the description below. All right, he's going to start out like that. That should be a free touchdown. Please, 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 please. Yes, sir. If you guys didn't know, there's kind of a bug in the game uh, that they've consistently allowed to stay in the game where if they press you out of a match coverage, um, the the fades just, I mean, they just break it on the outside and trips, so. Pretty much can't run match on that left side, or you're going to not be able to press it. 
So we're able to get a free seven. Now we got a chance to go out and get a stop. I actually love, you know, every every Madden game, you always love to play defense first. Uh, perfect world is because then you can get the ball at halftime. It just gives you a, a good chance uh, to be able to, to get a stop. So go back in the double mug here. I think I'm going to go back to man and uh, just see. I want to see if I can just press this tight end. Let's just see if this can just be just enough coverage. Yeah, I love the pressure on this. He's going to try to throw over the top of us. I need to switch. The only thing the only thing is the auto motion. I, forget, I always forget about the auto motion in this. So we'll walk this guy down so he presses him. He's probably going to go to that auto motion here. He did not go to that auto motion. See how that plays really, really good? I just need Ty Law to get there. I don't know how I, I I don't know what I don't know what just happened to me, uh, but we're just gonna take it. All right, so let's move let's move him here. He must have some really fast players too. I actually like this honestly. I think I gotta do this. Ah, son of a gun, he got me. I was thinking so much about my coverage. I was I, I keep expecting him to do it. That's just frustrating that I messed that up. I had a good chance for a stop there. See, I really like the press. I like the press in this game. So let's back this guy off. Okay, it's just not going to let me. Okay. He's eventually going to. I think I'm, I think he's going to try to throw the running back here. Man that up. Let's go with a third on the outside here, too. That's got to be a pick. Please, please. Oh, my gosh. The funny part is he has pick artists. The funny part is he has pick artists. Go across mid square. Yes, sir. There we go. Double mug doing its job, doing what it needs to do. Double mug doing the job that it needs to do, boys. Very good. We get our stop. I like that alignment on that. The thing with the trips flex is that tight end is not unbumpable. So you, if you just walk him up there, you're going to get a press on that receiver. Um, and then it kind of complicates things. We're just going to quick hike here. See if we can't catch him in something. I like, oh, we're, eh, we'll just throw a return route. He's running this cover four quarters. This should be bad against this RPO. I'm looking for the streak, honestly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, got him. That's that RPO, man. I love this RPO. It's in Chargers. It's in Lions. And it's really good because the the inside quarter zones they just kind of dumb out if they if the inside quarters are too close to the box they're in the run un, the run fit and you're faking the handoff to the run so if they don't pass commit they bite down on that run like that and then you're able to just to, to burn them over the top so to me that's just a really valuable play to have um, this is why in my opinion like Chargers Lions are still top tier I think char I think the best playbooks are uh lions eagles chargers if you're if you're a u-trips guy you gotta have patriots in there and then i think chiefs is probably up there as well those to me are probably the best um at, at this point in the year but could it's always subject to change all right let's go here now we're gonna use it a running back ourself because he might start blocking running back again I just can't get there. I literally just can't get there. That's insane that that's, op that's open. Okay. Uh, I think what we need to do is scissor the left side. And this is kind of risky, but just the way he's playing, if we scissor the left, if we scissor the tight end side, then what that basically means is we're going to take that corner. I'll show you. So we're going to go bring him down. We're going to man him up onto R1. We're going to man this guy up to the tight end. 
no, 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 no. I don't know why he keeps throwing that fade. Man him up to the running back. This time we're just going to leave that guy off coverage. No, I'm not allowed to man this guy for the tight end. That sucks. I got to use this tight end. There we go. Yeah, this ain't too bad. All right, now we're going to get a little adjusty. We're going to seam flat. I'm going to kind of cheat to the running back a little bit and just use run. Gosh, how's that open? In what world is that open? It just won't let you catch it. It just... Uh, I feel like that's a really good way to defend this play. And I just can't. I'm just not allowed to pick the ball off. Um, let's go ahead and read here. Man up. Coverage out. He throws right. Like, look at how he's throwing right at me. This is what's crazy. Is it like that's not an interception? That's a completion for freaking six yards. Right. I'm going to drop this guy out. Read the coverage. That's manned up. Like, it's, 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 <laughs> this guy literally just won't call another play. He just refuses to. He just refuses to call another play. I honestly like my chances fourth and one. I'm just trying to think what I want to do. I think I man up that. I think I do what I did where I, I use her the tight end myself. I'm going to shade in the tight underneath. He's in a different formation. Honestly, don't hate this. I think we just roll the dice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, sir. That's my ball. Double mug. Doing what it needs to do. Doing the job it needs to do. Let's go get seven. Let's go get three. Let's get something. Let's get some points here. Go bunch. Bunch flex is such an underrated audible in this formation. Kind of that same idea that we got. We nice stood this tight end up. I'll just take the bubble. Oh, yeah, the bubble's free. Let's go, Calvin. We'll go out of bounds, save some clock here. Yeah, 6 1's tough because you can just, one of the things that's weak, but a week is you could just basically spread it. Let's do this combo. Oh, yeah, that's free. That's free. We'll honestly take our points here because we get ball at half. We'll just take our free touchdown and call it good. Sometimes you can make an argument for clocking that, but kind of the way this game's been going, I feel like we get ball at half. We've been playing good defense, so we'll just take our just take our points. But you see, I mean, double mug definitely hums. It definitely hums. It's kind of there's a I think three four on and double mug, they're they're good for different reasons. Um, I think the coverage is probably better out of double mug. But 3-4 odds blitz is probably just a little bit better. Like, it's a little faster. It's a little more consistent if they block somebody. Double mug. Um, they're both sun six heats. But anyway. But I do think double mug just has a little bit more versatility from a coverage perspective. And I'll show you something else with this defense. Actually, I won't. Not this drive. I need this to not get open. 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 Like, that can't be open. I backed him off. I didn't shade underneath. Gosh, that's so bad. See, that's what I've been waiting for him to do all game. He'll probably start doing it more here. Okay, that's that. That's not cool. I don't know how that. I don't know how that's open. That's 
90, 94 speed, 93 speed Dion against nine. Like, let's just let's just confirm real quick what his speed is because this is annoying. So he is this guy. He's got Moss, ninety two speed. Okay, and then I've got Dion at ninety three speed. How's that? How's that open? That's frustrating. That's frustrating. Ah, uh, I think you have to put that dude on a third or a quarter, maybe. If I put that guy, if I put that safety on a quarter, then what do I do on the other side? Is the question. Because the tight end is a big threat in this offense. I don't know. You can't. That that just should not be open. Like in what world? I back him up. I I guess I have. I guess I could try to shade, but that to me should not be, that should not be a bomb. I get like that's a bomb against shaded down man, but like, I don't get it in that situation. Oh my goodness. Uh, go away. All they do is run cover four and it just bags. Let's throw this. I should have the tight end corner here. I'm not going to have the tight end corner here. I just throw that. I just threw a pick. I really just threw an interception? Goodness, this game's broken. I had to step on him. I threw it inside. Oh, my goodness, bro. This is not good. I just let him back in the game. Guess I should while you don't score in that situation. Shoot. Uh, this can't be this real. I'm shading over top. This needs to be stopped. He just bugs out, bro. He just bugs out so bad. This game's over. Ah, oh, this game's broken. All right, we can't run. We can't run this defense. You can't run. You can't run this man coverage. I can't do anything. I shade over top. I manually backed him off. Like, what can I do? Let's do this. Yeah, he just tied the game. <laughs> All right, at least we get enough time to go score. This is a crazy game. Oh, I can't believe he tied the game. I can't. I mean, he just, gosh, it's just that real. You just you eliminate man coverage, and there it is. Uh, Got to think about what I want to do defensively because that's not cool that that works like that. I did not think that that worked like that. Check this out. Why not? Yes, that's why. Uh, I can't believe I just got stopped twice. I'd love to be able to snap the ball. Jesus. I can't stand the hot route stuff. Like, one of the worst things about this game is the stupid hot routing. It takes you an, an hour and a half to freaking hot route. I'm trying to do two hot routes. And it just doesn't let you. Gosh dang, this game's frustrating. All right, let's just let's just this should be open. I don't know why it's not. Fifteen seam strings. Why not? Come on, Jackson. Very good. That's why. I mean, you see why the auto like you see. Hopefully, you see why auto motion is so freaking important in this game. Dude, my game just broke. It, it literally just broke. I'm really, really frustrated with the way this this, uh, this game is starting to play out because <laughs> uh, he switched dick and he got bumped and just ruined my streak. It's a literal touchdown. Okay, well, can I put this guy in an outside third? I can't put him in an outside third. Then what am I supposed to do? I clicked on, I turned and ran, and it didn't matter. I this you can't you can't you can't play this game.
I don't know why he stopped motion on him. How's that open? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Please, no way, bro. Yeah, this game just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's not open. Thank you. All right, we can get three here. Uh, this has been a very interesting second half or second quarter. I will say that All right, this time, hopefully, the game doesn't screw me over. All right, I got one timeout. He's going to run cover for every play. I think what you do is you go to this corner underplay and you go with a double. I, if I have enough time, this could be a touchdown. Question is if. Oh my gosh, I almost threw a pick too. He instant shedded me, bro. I get instant shedded a lot in this game. And I have a decent O line. I just I just feel like the instant sheds on Sim 4s are just that's how they want you to play the game. Alright, we'll take our three and be thankful out of all that. We we actually go in half with a lead. My man Jason Elam, best kicker in the game. I love that that's your captain. He gets all the theme teams. There you go. Makes it real simple. Don't have to worry about the kicker. I think this might be the first team captain kicker in a while, too. I like that. Team captain, kicker, team ca captain, punter. I mean, you just don't have to worry about anything. So, Dion. All right, Dion, I need you to actually, like, act like you can move. I'm, like, really frustrated with how that how that second quarter went. So he's running a lot of cover four. So when they run a lot of cover four, this flat should be wide open for you. Is it called man coverage? Bro, you too. That's very sad. Crap, I'm all messed up. I'm all messed up. I'm all messed up. I'm all messed up. Oh, no. That's the... You can't catch it. You can't do anything. You can't pick that off? The same... I actually love that alignment for this formation. God, this game is bad. Oh, it's bad. It's a bad game. I feel like that's perfect defense. I don't think you can play better defense than that. I, I just, gosh, I don't know what to do. Like, what do they want you to do on defense? I literally put the safety in coverage on him so that he would actually play him. Go, Dion. Go, Dion. One time. One time. Give me my points back. Thank you. In my opinion, that's deserved because of the freaking fumble, honestly. Way to go, Dylan. Way to act like you. Way to act like you could actually play ball. Way to act like you could actually play ball, buddy. Good job. Way to be out there, kid. Oh man, I don't know what to do on defense. Kind of, kind of at a loss right now defensively. Like the blitz is so good. It's just this trips, man. If this was bunch, it wouldn't happen like this. The alignment wouldn't do this, but the, it's because it's trips. And so trips alignments, they just trips alignments just mess you up if you play man. That's that's the thing that's that's the thing that's aggravating about trips is like they just don't man they just don't properly align. What's weird is if you come out in a man or a zone play, which is what I think I'm gonna do here. 
is I think I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to come out in a zone play, and then I'm going to audible to this. And now we get a more favorable look here. They just they just live right. They just live like right. I can't believe that this is this is beating me every time. I I just truly I just it just doesn't make sense. It just has this can't be a thing. I'm just gonna do this. There we go. D line pick. That's why you run this defense. There it is, boys. Very very good. Kirkland doing his thing. You're going to send five out every play. You're going to play with fire. Eventually, you're going to throw a D-line pick. Eventually, you're going to throw a D-line pick. And honestly, I think the send five is really better than the send six. Because the send five, you can have that running back manned up. I don't even necessarily love manning the running back up, though. I don't know what I want to do on that. The only route that the running back can really hurt you on is a, is a flat. It, it truly is like a flat. That's the only thing that they can really throw. So I don't know how I want to coverage out of that, but somehow out of that, we're up by two. This has been a crazy game. Let's see if we can get this. So I'm going to go flat here. And then this is my user. So I'm just going to run it like this. Please, please. Yeah, eventually you're going to... See, then, where was that in the first half? I just don't know how it was open, though. That, because that's literally the only thing he has, is that route. There's nothing else that can get open fast enough against this. It's how good the blitz is. You see there, just humming. You're going to have to block somebody. He doesn't want to do it. The thing is, if he blocks somebody, then it kind of allows me to play defense a little differently as well. My main read here is R1 or run the ball. I'll just hand it off. Yeah, I'll just hand it off. Good job. Good defense by my opponent. Yeah, he's running cover four a lot. We should be able just to run something like this. It's literally just been base press cover four all game. There's my high point. That's why you highball. The defenders just can't do anything against the highball in this game. It's going to work, but what call it? Probably not the best play call in the world. Yeah, I got screamed at. Shoot. I got screamed at. He sent six out of quarters and just called it good, man. Big play. Oh, he went cloud. I don't know why he keeps going cover two on that side. That'll never ever work, buddy. That's what. That's what. Yeah, you have to concede the flat. I don't know why you call cover two there on that side. Oh, boys, this is one of those games, man. I don't know how the score is 45 to 28, but this has been a wild game. <laughs> I feel pretty good on defense with this. Uh, at least just depending on what he's doing. He's not – I just feel like he can't really, like, consistently beat this. Like, he can beat it, but then he, like, can't. All right, we'll go flat there. What I think I do is – I like that. Oh, I don't like that. Dude, this Jalen Hyatt, bro. Gosh. All right. Let's man this up to the tight end. Ah, shoot, I can't. This half is. And see, the half doesn't guard it. I have to third that. That's what's. All right, I can do this, though. Outside third. And go hard flat. This I like this. I like this. Let's try this. I'm just using the tight end. There we go. There's a lot of coverage there, boys. 
There's a lot of coverage there. Very good. Way to fall down. There we go. We finally figured it out. It only took us a almost a full game to figure out that or I totally forgot I could put that dude in the third and he'll just take that away too. You see there, and that's blocked running back, but you see him feeling the pressure, right? Feeling the pressure. That's just a send five. So anyways, that's double mug. Really good defense in this game. If you guys want to learn anything you saw in this video, it's all in our school community. Link is in the description below.